So we're doing an Orbera balloon placement today. We're going to demonstrate the entire procedure. Our patient has come in. We've given some uh, light sedation with propofol, so she's nice and comfortable. And we're going to start the procedure, which is going to take in its entirety about five minutes. So the first step is we're going to take our endoscope and just evaluate the stomach, make sure everything's okay, nice and healthy, that there's no ulcers, uh, a big hiatal hernia, or anything else that would prevent us from placing the balloon, which is quite rare. So we're going down the esophagus, and I'm going to check out the stomach. So she's been on a, she's been uh, NPO, or has had nothing by mouth since last night. So we can ensure her stomach is completely empty. And we're just going to take a look at the entire thing. Nice, healthy stomach. And we'll take a look at the lower esophagus. No, no real hiatal hernia. So she is a great candidate for this. So next step we're going to do is take our balloon, which is deflated. So it comes wrapped up. That's the balloon. It's made out of silicone. And we're going to fill it with saline. But here it is, the actual balloon in its deflated state. So what we'll do is just slide it right down the esophagus into the stomach. She's nice and comfortable, doesn't feel this in any way. So it just glides right down. Then we're going to follow it with the scope, and then we'll fill it. All right. So that's in the stomach. We now take our scope again, and we'll go right down next to it. All right. And now we'll fill it in just a moment. So there's our balloon. We're going to put it down a little further. It was just peeking up into the esophagus. We want to make sure it's all the way in the stomach. And now it is. Okay. So what Victor's going to do is remove the central wire. Let's go ahead and pull that out. So we can then connect a syringe and fill it. Okay. So our syringe is connected to a, a bag of fluid. It's just sterile saline. We like to preload the first syringe so we're ready to just push it right in. Okay. Go ahead. And we're going to fill this 50 cc's at a time. The ultimate uh, size will depend a little bit on her stomach, but generally around 500 to 600 cc's. What we want to do is fill it enough so that it keeps her nice and full and less hungry, but not too much. One in. If we overfill it, she could have more symptoms like nausea and difficulty tolerating the balloon. Once we're finished filling it, we will detach this fill catheter and the balloon will seal and then it will just stay in the stomach for the next six months. So we're slowly filling it. You can see it's starting to expand. So the way the balloon works is two mechanisms. One is it's physically just taking up space. But the more important one is it, the balloon has some weight to it. It weighs about a pound and a half from all the fluid we're putting in. So it sinks to the bottom of the stomach and it actually slows the stomach emptying. So it takes longer for food and liquid to exit the stomach which means when you eat, you feel really full, and that fullness lasts for a longer period of time. So we're using this as a training tool over six months to lose weight, lose an average of about 30 to 50 pounds, and also make some lasting behavioral change so that once we take the balloon out in six months, you can eat less and feel satisfied, and you're used to that. Five in. All right. So once we put about six syringes in, this will pop open completely. A six. Six. And we're getting there. Seven. Seven in. Eight. Eight. And now you can see it's fully uh, popped open. The wrapper that was on the balloon has opened up. And we're nearly finished with this. What I'm going to do is start checking to see the sizing. So I want to make sure there's a little gap here. That's this fine. is where fluid and food can get by. We, don't want to, we want to make sure this is not too snug and you know, wedged in the stomach. This is looking good. 
Let's go ahead and put 10 in total. So 500 cc's looks appropriate for her. I can easily slide the scope by. Okay, so we're finished. So what we'll do now is detach this catheter. And it's quite simple. We'll just pull it off. Okay, so that's off. And we'll take a peek at our balloon here. So it has a self-sealing valve. This cannot leak, it won't leak. It's nearly indestructible. So our patient will go about her normal activities, exercise, travel, whatever she likes to do for the next six months. She will follow a liquid diet for the next three days, clear liquids, and then two weeks of full liquids, which is protein shakes. That gives the stomach time to get used to the balloon, and then she'll advance to regular food. And that is the end of our procedure. So she'll wake up momentarily and go home. And then this is a 12-month program. The balloon will stay in for six months, then we'll reverse the process and remove it. But for 12 months, she'll work with our team, our dietitian, making sure she's on track with her nutrition and losing weight appropriately. So that is the Orbera balloon placement.